hey, you ready to do a run? Let's do it. Let me get a quick little stretch in and then uh, follow me as I go through the woods. Ready. You ready to do this? There's always like three different ways to go. And uh, my thing is I usually pick the hardest way to go. So, all right, hold on. You know what? I got to tie my shoes a little bit tighter than this. I'm going to loosen up. All set. Black raspberries. Huh. Mm. Add a little sugar, some carbs. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> what a little treat that is. All right, so you know what that means. Come to a clearing, and that's when I drop and do 10 push-ups. I remember one time coming here, and like right about there, I don't know, it's about five years ago, there was a guy, there was a dude doing naked yoga. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll go that way instead. That was just something I did not want to see, so. And I had to get here early enough. Oh, there's a farmer in the field right now. All right, so let's go. Let's go this way here. Remember two winters ago when I came here, when there was snow on the ground, and I slipped on my butt? <laughs> on camera, I didn't edit it. I did not take it out. That was kind of fun. <laughs> Beautiful. It's interesting how... Oh, more berries. Oh, I never... I have never seen a raspberry bush I'm sorry when I see some healthy blackberries and black raspberries I can't mm. oh boy it's that time of year oh, forget it <laughs> they're everywhere right now very rare Mm. Usually the birds get to them before I do. Mm. 
Good piece. So this is going to end up being the the black raspberry run. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Organic, beautiful, some spiders, but I'll live. And there's so many I can't even count them. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Hit the jackpot today. Yum. All right, enough of that. I had a carnivore breakfast this morning and two testosterone boosting eggs uh, from the farm. My Lord. I never saw a berry that I didn't like. Stay focused. Stay focused. <laughs> this is a great place to forage for everything from cattails to berries to mushrooms to all kinds of beautiful roots. There's flowers here. All right, through the woods. It's still early enough where it's relatively cool. It's dry enough because we can get in a lot of rain. And a lot of it has, you know, been absorbed into the ground. So it's not going to be a mud run. Although the leaves are wet and it feels good on my arms. Something is getting planted here, and I see a farmer out there. So, uh, there was a log here that I would do push ups on, but that log is now gone. I would love that log because there were two stumps where I could literally do the, do the push ups on the stumps. And that was always cool. All right, let's do it. Let's do this. I'm not sure what those are. If those are squash blossoms. Right there. Pumpkins. It's hard to say. It is hard to say. So there is a farmer out here tending to these. Boy, those berries. I can just feel the, the energy from the berries. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Collard greens. I see collard greens. Okay, yeah. The, uh, it's a woman picking collard greens. So it's not too hot yet. It's only 80 and that's cool. That is cool. I will get back, take an ice cold shower, and then 
Um, then I have to go pick up baby Grayson, who is the main coon cat, a big boy, 25 pounds. Big, 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 he's my big dog. Okay, here's some woods. I always stop down here just to see what the creek is like. And after all the heavy rains, oh, it's not too bad. It's not really flowing. But on the hottest summer days, I just jump right in there and splash the ice cold water on myself. That's what I do. Hello. There's a path I never saw. Some kind of storage thingy here. I have no idea what that is. Rainwater collection or something, I don't know. And a paved path. Oh, this this is the, uh, the handicap accessible area where wheelchairs can come here. Woo, running uphill. That's a trip and a butterfly garden. <sighs> nice purple cone flowers. Uh, what is this? Someone tell me. It's one of my favorite places to go. I see what they call black eyed Susans. Beautiful milkweed. But I won't see any butterflies here until later on in the afternoon. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Does this get harder as you get older? No, no, because I haven't stopped doing it. I'm guessing if you stop, it would be like anything else. Start up again would be hard. It would be difficult. So I'm going to try a different route and we'll see what happens here. I'm always hesitant when people take their dogs off leash in a park area because they're really not thinking about a dog getting freaked out. This was a working farm up to a few years ago. Another path going up through the woods. Look at all those berries. I should be buying some vanilla ice cream tonight. Coming back here and putting a big hand of handful of black raspberries on it and a little bit of whipped cream. That would be so cool on a hot night. I love I love picking things, sourcing things, and then using those things in my cooking, whether it be berries, roots, herbs, mushrooms, nuts, anything wild. Farmer, I like to putting plastic up, covering the mounds. That's good. I'm seeing squash. I don't know if I'm seeing soybeans there. I don't know. <clears throat> Another path going uphill. Squash. Uh, 
I am not sure. You know what that is? That's cabbage right there. So that's cool. I see peppers and tomatoes. I don't know if you can see that. See the tomatoes in there. And I also see beans, like string beans and green peppers. And in the distance, that I believe is cow corn and not human consumption corn. More berries. Wow. Flax. You know, it's so funny. Flax is considered a weed. And I've taken flax seed and planted it because I love this kind of bluish, purple, periwinkle. I just love, love the color of flax flowers. Love it. Ugh. back up and we'll have a little chit chat hold on a second go back get my hot shot up but let's chat so all together with this video edited I did about two miles of trail jogging I don't call it trail running because I I'm not running at top speed but on that AC that feels good now, now that I've stopped, I feel the, the sweat just starting to bead up on me. So all together, about two miles in and out of the woods. All together, about 100 push-ups over a period of about 25 to 30 minutes. It's not killing myself, but it's consistent. And still, when you are mid-60s, approaching mid-60s, What's important is that you're consistent. Do it regularly and you will fight. You will go against, literally, I'm not talking about running. I'm not talking about running. I'm talking about like trail jogging where you're like leaping over creeks and logs and you're not going full speed. You're going faster than a walk. Literally, doing that is an act of defiance and resistance against your age. And I feel good. I sweat it out. I was in the sunshine. Feels good. Got my vitamin D. My lungs full of fresh air. Exercises. Did push-ups, air squats, stretched. What I really need to do is put a find a straight branch, like six feet long and find two trees that are close together and then lash the horizontal piece. And I would just leave like a resistance band in the woods there, no one will find it. And make that one of my pull up and chin up stops. So no matter your age, get yourself out there and do some jogging, do some running, fast walking, fat, like some, not quite full jog, <clears throat> not a sprint, but you saw how fast I was going. It's just it's just enough to get the blood flowing. I'm not I'm not doing cardio. You got to realize my I get my cardio through weightlifting. So what this is, it's to oxygenate my muscles and oxygenate my brain. And I'm going to drink about a pint of ice cold water when I get back. My face is already salty. I can taste it. <laughs> I can taste the salt on my face and my lips. That's good. It's good. That means I achieved my goal of sweating it out a little bit. All right, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Get yourself out there running, jogging. I prefer trail running. Get some trail running shoes. You know what? I'll put a link to my trail running shoes. They have a tread that is created in such a way that when you're going uphill, downhill, if you're on gravel, if you're on mucky mud, the grip is so positive in any direction you're not slipping in the past when I would just take like you know put on regular you know like Reebok tennis shoes or you know that kind of thing or a 
what's the other, the Nike Air Monarchs. <laughs> Slipping and sliding and almost killing myself the whole time. All right, stay strong, guys. We'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.